Um, well, we we heard about the program through uh, from Jennifer from the Groundwater Foundation, who approached us and um, we filled out the application, looked in the program, and realized it might be a good way for us to assess our practices on how um, we could improve them, or maybe save money, or look at our watering and, and pesticide application to see if we're overdoing it, or, or just a good self-assessment. And thought it'd be a good thing to do. And realized that we need to take care of what we have here. So. Some of the practices we do is uh, we, we, we do a lot of, uh, we have minimal amounts of chemicals, pesticides, water, fertilizer that we apply. We try to keep everything to a minimum um, and do a lot of spot spray and to look for problems, try to keep up on things daily and, and try to save a little money that way, but also then it's just better not to have to apply, you know, blanket applications of fertilizers and pesticides throughout the whole thing, and look for weaker spots and try to address them quickly, you know, as, as things appear, you know, versus just, and it saves you quite a bit of money, too, I think, doing that. In general, we kind of like, um, there's a few... A few holes are real scenic and, and real nice where they're, they're kind of a challenge to take care of. There's a, a hole of number 11 on our back nine. It's a real long hole out to a stretch on a point kind of overlooking the lake. And it's, um, it's, it's pretty challenging to take care of that one. The green's just real exposed up there, especially in the winter. They get really cold wind off the lake, off the ice and everything. It, 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 the desiccation's real hard not to, or it's real hard to, to keep from happening, but it's, you know, we, we try to keep that hole looking really well because people, that's the hole people would remember. I'd encourage others to get involved so that they can, they can maybe self-assess their program and see how their, um, what their practices are as far as watering and, and, and pesticides and so forth and maybe they're, they're spending some money and doing some things that they don't need to be doing um, where they could, some applications they really don't need to be applying or, or, or don't apply as much and it may not affect the quality of the turf that much you know it's if you can let it, the turf get a little brown here and there some spots aren't just perfect it, it may save you quite a bit of money without you know compromising the condition of your course too much where most golfers might not look at you know little tiny spots here and there but you know as long as the playability is, is, is still good that's probably the first thing that we keep